Welcome to Premium Technologies. I am Venkat. This is part 46 of ASP.NET Grid View tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss about sorting a grid view that uses object data source control and business objects. We'll be using table TBL employee for this demo. So obviously to retrieve data from this table, we need to add employee data access layer to our project. So let's right click on the project, add a class file, and let's name this class file as employee data access layer. CS. And to encapsulate the information that is present in this table TBL employee, we need to implement employee class. So let's do that. And if you look at this employee class, it's a pretty straightforward class with four auto implemented properties employee ID, name, gender, and city. And with an employee data access layer class itself, we need a method which is going to retrieve data from this table TBL employee. So obviously, we need to write a little bit of ADO.NET code here. So let's go ahead and import some ADO.NET namespaces, system.data, system.data.sql client, and system.configuration. All right, now let's copy and paste the method itself. Again, we discussed about this method in the previous session of this video series. And if you look at this method, it's a pretty straightforward method. Um, get all employees. So it's going to return a list of employee objects. If you look at the implementation, we are creating a list of employee object here. And then using the configuration manager class, we are reading the connection string from web.config file. Using that connection string, we are then creating a SQL connection object. And then we are building our SQL command, select star from TBL employee, executing the command, and then loop through each row and convert each row within the table into an employee object and add that employee object to the list that we want to return back. Okay, so pretty straightforward method here. Now let's flip to web form. Let's drag and drop a grid view control. And let's auto format this. Let's choose brown sugar scheme. Now we want to use object data source control. So let me drag and drop object data source control. And let's configure this to use employee data access layer, business object. So after we add our employee data access layer, we need to compile the project. Otherwise, it will not be uh, visible here. So let's build our solution. OK, now let's go ahead and configure this uh, object data source control. Let's choose our business object, which is going to be employee data access layer. And then within that, we have got this method, get all employees, finish that. And now let's associate this object data source control with our grid view control. OK, now let's enable sorting uh, by going into the HTML source. And then within the grid view control, I'm going to set allow sorting attribute to true. And then let's look at this. When we run this, you know, if you remember, when we click on that employee ID column, it's going to throw an exception. And in the previous session, we discussed about solving it by returning a data set, okay, instead of list of employee objects. So if you look at the moment, you know, this method is returning list of employee objects. In the previous session, we discussed about solving it by returning a data set. But in reality, most of the time, we'll be returning business objects rather than data sets and data tables. So let's see how to solve this, you know, issue without using data set. All right. So obviously, the first thing that we want to do here is, you know, we need to change this get all employees method to take in a parameter by which we want to sort the data and then return that. OK, so in this get all employees method, I'm going to use an, a parameter. And I'm going to call this sort column. You can give it any meaningful name. OK, and then if I am passing in a sort column name here, then basically I want to sort the data based on that sort column. OK, so if you look at the command here, it simply says select star from TBL employee. So I'm going to take this command and move it into a variable. OK, so I'm going to call this string. SQL query is equal to that one. And then I'm going to check if this parameter, if it's not null or empty, then what we want to do is basically to this query, we want to append order by class and then use that sort column to order data by that column. So basically, if string dot is null or empty, which string is that? The sort column. If this parameter is not, you know, basically, if it is not null or empty, then what I want to do is to this SQL query, so SQL query plus equals, you know, I want to append another string order by 
by which column do I want to order? I want to order it by sort column. It's as simple as that. Okay, so the rest of the you know code looks as it is. And here, instead of hard coding the command like this, I'm going to use that variable which we have just built. So SQL query. Okay, so this is the first change that we have to do. The method that is returning data add a parameter okay based on which we want to sort the data and then return it to whoever is going to call this method and the second change is on our web form itself within our web form we have this object data source control which is serving the data to the grid view control and this um, object data source control has got um, an attribute sort parameter name so which parameter of this method are we using to sort data and if you remember it's called sort column so we need to specify sort parameter name to that sort column. Okay. All right. So now with these two changes, let's go ahead and run this. And you know the grid view should be sortable in both the directions without any runtime errors. So now the headers are rendered as hyperlinks. Look at that. You know it gets sorted in descending order and ascending order. Similarly name as well okay so what's going to happen when we actually click on those hyperlinks you know a value for the sort column is sent to this method and then the data is getting sorted based on that you know parameter value all right on this slide you can find resources for asp.net c sharp and sql survey interview questions that's it for today thank you for listening have a great day